Hey, good evening, everybody. Night's winding down. It's Friday night, and I'm in my PJs, relaxing with my puppy dogs. Um, I wanted to come on here because I've been posting a lot of videos on YouTube for, like, cleaning hacks, um, organization, um, tips on uh, cleaning products, uh, the, maybe the do's and don'ts on what to do on your walls or what type of products to use. Um, this is a little bit out of my realm of what I'm used to doing. Um, I'm dabbling into uh, doing a little bit more um, like painting projects. Um, I've never been a good painter. I'm learning to... Um, <clears throat> I think what my problem is is I get in a hurry and then when I'm in a hurry and I'm painting, then I end up painting everything. So I have to take the time to tape everything up and just do it properly and then take my time. And then it'll actually turn out great. The reason why I was coming on is because um, I have like a, a light brown carpeting and I had like white registers. They were old um, when I bought my house. You know, the house is a little on the older side, not a lot of updates. Um, some of the stuff like the kitchen was updated, things like that, but like little like nooks and crannies such as the registers were never updated. They were scratched up and they were just dented up, falling apart. Well, I thought I would give a fresh coat to this really heavy register because my husband and I had a hard time finding that particular size register. So I thought, well, let's go look for some brown paint. You want something that's glossy and um, like a, like a semi-gloss because a semi-gloss, not only it gives it that fresh look, it's glossy, it's beautiful, and it's so easy to wipe down and clean. You can't really use a flat paint or something that's, um, I mean, you can do satin, but I prefer like a glossier look to get, give it that, that shine. That's what I like. Um, some things you don't want the shine to, and you want it more of a duller look, or excuse me, a dull look. But this particular register, I wanted to shine. So we went to our local Menards and we found this um, spray paint because um, you don't really need to paint brush it. It's easier to spray paint just little projects like that. So I take it outside and I spray paint it. So we bought a semi-gloss. It's called a leather brown um, semi-gloss. Um, and it's like paint and enamel together. So you don't have to like... Um, or excuse me, primer. So you don't have to prime anything. You can just spray it because it's all mixed. So um, I took my can of spray paint out with my register and I spray painted it. Oh, it's beautiful, silky smooth, beautiful color, beautiful shine. I was impressed, especially with the fact that I, I just don't do a lot of painting projects. Um, <clears throat> The paint was maybe like $4.00. Less than five, even with tax at Menards, leather brown. It was a, you know, semi-gloss leather brown paint. Um, and it went out beautiful. I left my stuff to dry for, oh, I want to say, I think just overnight. And then I went back out the next day because I left it in my garage to dry. Because I don't, I didn't want to bring the fumes and stuff in my house because I have dogs and birds. And I left it overnight in a closed garage to dry. And I went out the next day and I felt it and it felt like it was dry. So I thought it was okay to, to pull it back out and spray paint it again. So I put a second coat on it. Um, so one of the do's and don'ts of the spray painting, just a little tip for those that are just like me, newbies and trying to spray paint and not familiar with the painting process and the rules and the do's and the don'ts. So you don't really want to pick a windy day because you don't want spray paint to go either on someone else's house, your cars or your house or anything near. So you want to have a calm day. Um, that, that was sort of my, well, my, the first day I painted, it was fine. It wasn't windy at all. I had decent weather. It was rather, I think like seventies out. So I was able to give a good coat. So it came out beautiful, shiny, silk, smooth. It looked brand new. You would never know that was like a, probably a 50-year-old regi register. Um, so then the next day, I went out, and we still had decent weather, but it was a little on the windy side. I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to spray paint it. It's going to go back in the garage. My husband's going to shut the door, and then it's going to sit there all night. 
So I spray painted it again. Still looked really good. He picked it up. We had it on a cardboard box and um, he put it in the garage and I just let it dry. Well, I let it sit there probably for more than a day or so. Time got away from me and we just kind of didn't look at it or deal with it. I had to flip it over and do the back side. So the front still looks good at this point. I flipped it over and long story short, I did two coats on the back side. Okay, so then another week went by and I finally decided to go out and um, have my husband grab the register. And he said it looked good. So I said, okay, go ahead and, you know, put it back into the location that it goes to. Well, I noticed as it got lighter in my, my office is where I had it, that some of the edges just didn't look like it... Um, it got it. So I'm thinking, goodness, when I was spray painting, when it was windy out, maybe the spray paint just blew off of it. Like as I was spraying, it really didn't hit it. So I wanted to give it one more coat just on the top part. I wasn't going to worry about the underneath. The underneath looked pretty, pretty good to me. It looked like I got it all and it looked like it, it was fine. So I took it out and I spray painted. And I might add, it stayed in my, my, my room for probably about a week before I decided to give it another coat. Well, my mistake, and I call it a rookie mistake, is I did spray paint it, same thing, smooth, beautiful, no bubbles, no ripples, nothing. But then I thought I was missing some spots, so I went back over it for the second time. You know, same distance, everything, same same way I sprayed it, shook it, everything. And then I realized... um it sort of like had a little bit of a crackling to it, but nothing big. I thought, oh, it's it's nothing. Um, and I, had, I told my husband, go ahead and get it in the garage. Maybe a little bit of the breeze is making the, the paint kind of shift a little bit. So I said, it's no big deal. It still looked good. Put it in the garage. So then um, I bought two other registers um, because the ones that I had, I realized were just too big. It didn't make sense to have these long registers taking up all the space on my wall. And then you can't fit furniture there because you have a long register in the way. So I thought, well, let's downsize it. So we downsized it and we fit it and it worked perfect. The only problem is, is they were white. And I'm like, but my carpet and my wall is oak and my carpet is light brown and I want it to blend in. I don't want it this big, beautiful, bright white register sticking out. Although it was a beautiful white and it probably would have looked fine. But I thought, hey, why not spray paint that? So I took the spray paint and I spray painted the first coat. Same thing, beautiful, smooth, looked great. Let that dry. And then I went to flip it over to do the back side, and I noticed um, a little bit of crackling, but nothing big. And I thought, oh, it's probably from the box. Flipped it over, and I spray painted it. Um, and then I waited for the back side to dry. Then I flipped it back over, and it still looked beautiful, still looked silky. Um, it looked good to me, so I thought, well, it's not a windy day, so let's go out and spray paint. I was only going to do two coats, so this would have been my second coat. I started spraying it, and as it was going on, it looked smil silky smooth. It looked beautiful, but then within not even a minute, maybe a minute went by, and I told my husband, okay, let's get ready to lift this up, put it back in the garage where it normally sits and dries. It looked like a spider web. It looked like crackling, um, not in all of it but in several sections of it so i'm thinking here's rookie mistake so what i found out by doing some digging and research is that even though i fully let the register sit in my garage and dry all night long i felt it it felt dry but in some spots i got a little bit of um, spray paint on my fingers so i just thought oh it's a little bit tacky but the majority of it was dry. Mistake. So here's my rookie mistake on spray painting tip. Make sure it has dried fully and completely and cured. Like really set in. So if you're not in a big hurry when you spray paint something, I would let it sit a couple of days, maybe even a week. Even though the spray paint says it's a quick dry 
rookie num rookie mistake number two. It really isn't. And because you know why? It may be a quick drying spray paint, but the environment plays a huge role. I live in Ohio and it rained, snowed, and was 60 to 70 degrees in three different days. That temperature changed consistently while that register was sitting out in my garage trying to dry. So it got moisture, dampness, probably cold, then warm. And the temperature just shifted so much that I think it never fully cured. Even though the touch of it felt dry, it may have been dried, but it never cured. So lesson learned, everybody. Whenever you go to spray paint a project, either do it in your house where the temperature is consistently, but find a spot like a basement that um, you can do projects like that. Or wait till you have a consistent number of days that's dry and right around the same temperature. And also make sure there's no wind involved where maybe you can just leave it sit out. Um, I wouldn't leave it overnight, but for the day. So the bright and um, heat of the day, maybe let it sit out. Even if there was just a slight, real tense breeze, that might be okay to help it um, dry faster. But then at night or in the evening or late afternoon, move it into your house because it's less likely to dribble or you know stain anything, but move it into a part of the house where it won't get disturbed, but safe. From, you know, accidentally bumping it and just let it finish sitting to dry and cure. And then, like I said, if you're in no big hurry, maybe let it sit for a week. And I would feel it if it feels kind of tacky. If you, if you, you would know because when paint dries, it gets, even though it's smooth and silky, it gets a sense of hardness to it. And that's how you know it's cured. When it's sort of tacky feeling, sticky, or um, has a different form of texture, like say you put your, th your thumb on there and it leaves a little bit of a mark, then you know it's not cured. So um, sorry for the long video, but I just thought I would explain in detail what sort of I went through with my rookie mistake with spray painting. And these are just tips for those that are just new like me, just learning to dab into painting and spray painting. I've painted before, but to get into projects and really um, changing things up drastically, I'm learning. So you, if you do make that mistake and you realize there's some crackling spider webs or some kind of... Um, you know, just disturbance or bubbled up, you can sand it down. It's a little bit time consuming. So if you don't mind it, you can sand it down and just respray paint it and then just do it over properly. Um, but in my case, the registers weren't that expensive. Um, my husband works two jobs. He doesn't have a lot of time. I don't even know where like his sander and stuff is or how to use it. Unfortunately, with the mistake that I made, I either have to make the decision to live with it or just buy two more registers and either just install them as they are, which is just a plain white um, painted register, or take that chance and do a do-over. And then if it does it again, then I realize it's just not my knack to do and I have to live with it because I refuse to buy a third round of registers. Um, if you're not picky with it and it looks nice and you're not worried about it, like I have drapes, so kind of my drapes cover it, so I probably could leave it and not worry about it. But I'm OCD, so I know it's going to drive me nuts. So um, just a quick tip about spray painting. Just really, really make sure it's cured. Um, just touch it. You'll know by the texture and the feel of it. I would just, for safe sake, make sure you have consi consistent number of days of like warm weather, little to no breeze. Find an, a, a very, um, not open area, but an open area where you can spray paint and then a secluded area where you get that sunlight, that, dr that dryness, but where like debris and stuff won't blow on it. I hope this helps somebody because even though the spray paint wasn't that, expensive the registers i think were only like maybe 10 11 dollars at menards 
it's still pricey when you have to go back and do a whole complete do-over by buying all of that again. So to save you money, I hope this helps. Have a great day, y'all. Follow my YouTube channel and please subscribe. It is free for more of these tips, hacks, organization. I do, do cook keto and I bake sweets. Um, I also um, post my lovely fun fur babies on there. I hope you enjoy my channel. Have a great night, everybody.